Hello everyone and welcome to today's After Effects scripting quick tip tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make an OS check function. What this function will do is let us know what kind of OS the user is using, whether it's a Mac or a Windows. Now this can be useful for several things, but first let's go ahead and take a look at how it's going to work. This can be used for many different things such as looking for certain folder paths that are different by system. It allows you to save different file types that will be compatible with different systems and much more. So if I go ahead and run this uh, connected to After Effects CC 2017, and I'm just going to write down here my OS check function, which will give me either PC or Mac. So if I run it, it's going to give me PC because I am indeed on Windows. So let's go ahead and start up a new JavaScript file and write this super useful and simple function. So first off, we're just gonna call a function and call it OS check. It does not require any arguments and we need to have our curly braces and everything inside of here is going to check for our OS. The first thing we wanna do is set up a couple of variables just to keep track of things. The first one we'll just call OS and the second one we'll call match. And this is gonna be the string we look to match. So we can choose either Windows or Mac. So to set up our OS variable, there's a built-in function inside of extend script. We're gonna put the dollar sign, which gives us different properties about debugging. And we're gonna say period OS, simple as that. In fact, if you go up to help and the object model viewer, you can go into the core JavaScript classes and here, and if we scroll down, to see what OS does, it says the current operating system version, which will result in example Windows XP 5.1 service pack. And you can see earlier I displayed what system I have, which is a Windows 7 64-bit computer. And we're going to use this string to match it to either PC or Mac to see what the user has. So now that we have our OS string with a bunch of text in it and numbers, we're gonna set our match variable equal to our OS string and we're going to type in the index of, and inside of here we can put either Windows or Mac. Because most of the time people use Windows, I'm just gonna type in Windows. So the first thing we're gonna check is if our OS name here contains the text Windows. So for example, in this case, it's Windows 7 64 6.1. It finds Windows right here. If we searched for Mac, however, it would not find it and give us a bad value. So the way index of works is it searches through a string and if it finds what you input here, so Windows, it will return the index of where it is. So in this case, it would give us probably zero or one. And if it didn't exist there, it would give us negative one, which means our input for index of is not in that string. So with that knowledge, we can go and just make a simple if statement. We're gonna check if our match which again is checking for, in this case, Windows. If our match does not equal negative one, if it's not negative one, that means we found one of the index where Windows is. So in this case, what we wanna do, we'll just call a variable called user OS, and we'll set this equal to PC. Else, if it's not negative, if it's not not negative one, then it is negative one. So in this case, our user OS variable is going to equal Mac. And now lastly, we just need to return our user OS variable back when we call this function. If you want to, you can also change PC to like Win for Windows, uh, but you just don't wanna get confused if you think that's a window or something. You can use any name you want, but as long as you know what values you're returning here. So if I go down here and just say alert uh, OS check and we run it, it's going to tell us that we're on a PC. And like I said, you can change this if you want, so I can just say Windows, all lowercase, and it lets us know we're on Windows. So that's gonna do it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Just a quick tip on how to check the OS of the user, why that's useful, and how to execute it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed these quick tips. And if you have any suggestions for quick little tutorials like this, post them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.